Hello, this is Priscilla Batsell. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. This is some Mead and Black paint I've mixed with Flow Troll and Gag 800. And I'm just going to use it as a base layer. Actually, it may not even be a base layer. It might just be enough paint to cover the canvas. I wish I had a black canvas, a dry one, because then I would have just done this process on that dry canvas. I'm not going to worry about my edges right now. I can always go back and black them later. And who knows how far this is going to take me. But this is an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. For anybody who's not aware, this is the best paint spreading tool I know of. And the Mead and Black paint is the blackest black I know of. And they are both on my Amazon link <laughs> underneath the video in the description. When you click show more, you'll find them. My two books are there too. First and second hundred video for pouring. All right, so I have maybe a little more paint. And if I had done this off camera, I'd be able to use the extra paint I had on my canvas to uh, do my edges. But since I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to give myself some Amsterdam white. And I'm going to use a black cell activator and see what happens. I did a painting similar with just slashes recently, but this time I want to just use the use the cell activator and join them up. I'm not going to try any gold yet. If it turns out that I don't like what's happening, I might do that. All right, I don't know if I need to spread that or not. I think I would prefer to use one of my little acetate tools, which I have handy, several of. I'm gonna dry it off so it's not dripping wet. Just came out of the, the square container I keep in call a bucket. Stop dripping. I'm gonna use a fairly copious amount Go right off the canvas. I was thinking dragons. Maybe I should continue to think dragons. I'm going to put a little more white on there. Back to the black. I like to blow it to level it out. I'm kind of imagining that the black background isn't hurting anything. I want to kind of use it. <laughs> My residuals and see what happens. I don't want to dry that off. I think I can continue on using just cell activator. So far I've only tried this with the pressure of my finger. Now I'm just going to not put any pressure on there and see what happens. Might be different. They all, all of them look different. It must be the pressure. I could go back and put whatever I wanted over the top of this if I like it or if I don't. We'll see how I feel about it in a minute. Definitely reminds me of dragons, but that's the dragon scale effect. I want to keep, I just want to use it again without putting more on, but that's not the way this works. I'm thinking I, 
I'm pretty sure a copious amount of cell activator doesn't hurt a thing. I wanted I just want to put that back on. Let's put it back down in the same place. They put the first scrape. I might have to hit that. I'm gonna wipe that off. Just because I can. I want to put more on. No, nope. I'm just going to separate them. I'm not thinking I'm getting much of a design. So it could just be a stage one for something else. I kind of feel like I could go in there with the gold and put some lines in and be kind of happy with whatever I get. Or I could just keep adding white until I'm happy. zone. And I'm actually getting a few cells down there. Wipe that off again. It's probably a good idea. This time I just used the extra. So I'm not sure how I feel about this. It's not doing anything for me, but I'm pretty sure that's what backgrounds are for. I could definitely tip, but I don't see the point. Let's tip it and see what happens. Part of me wants to take a toothy tool and just go right down through everything. And I could definitely, I want to use cell activator to drip, but I think I'm going to give myself some permission to use some Indian spice. I don't know what's going to happen. That's why I'm doing it. And the possibilities are endless since there's always tomorrow. You know what I want to do? I want to take my cell activator See what happens if I blow it out. That might be even more interesting to me because the chances are it'll join them up. And then there's absolutely nothing for me to, to keep me from putting a skewer in there. Not getting as many cells as I anticipated, but that's okay because this opportunity in what I want to call a mistake, but it's not really a mistake. 
If I'm not done yet, how can it be? Time for a new straw. I kind of don't mind that. So where's my white? I have white. Do I want white? Do I want white or do I want silver? I still have some silver left. Silver doesn't really show up, but it does dendrite. And if my background paint is still wet, and it might be, I could be encouraging some dendrites. I'm just having fun. You never, never figure out anything if you do the same things over and over again. Maybe somebody does, but I don't. So they are dendriting. I wonder if blowing on them would facilitate that. I could spiral them. My straw has spit in it, so I have to stop using it. But I do have a skewer. And I don't know if they'll still dend right after I spiral them out, but I'm having a good time. I think I mentioned that. This is really only working because the paint is still damp in the background. I don't think I'm done yet either. I'm, I'm being called to gold. could be color if I was creative or feeling creative. I wonder if the spirals will fill in. I wonder if I can add dots. I keep thinking white dots. And I've got some white. But I have to put it in a container if I want to use it. I kind of like that, but I, I like the idea of the gold better to tell you the truth. But I need a little dish. Come on, show me, show me yourself, little dish. Uh, I guess I could use a blank card. And I'm going to use the Mayan gold because it's definitely darker. Let's hope I don't need to shake that. So my theory about putting dots down is you put them as far apart from each other as you can to begin with. So somewhat evenly spaced. And then as you fill in, take a moment to look and see. I'm kind of liking this. It's a little weird. So am I. <laughs> I don't know any normal people. I'm still attracted to colors, but I don't know what colors they would be, and I'm kind of hearing saffron in my head. But I don't know that it needs anything other than, this is just neat, just the way it is. 
And I don't know how many dots are too many dots. And I'm glad the black paint isn't any more wet or any thicker because I think it would just swallow them. The more the merrier, evidently, at this point. I like my little blown out Indian spice flowers, although they're not really very flower like. And I like my spirals. And it's all very odd. Maybe I'll call this video, it's all very odd. <laughs> Or it's always fun to experiment. And one day when I figure out the black and white thing, I'll figure out how to make a dragon. That's At least that's what I keep promising myself. I'd like a dragon with scales, please. The only thing that's kind of bugging me is those are those drips right in the middle and I don't want to use the same straw but I want to I want to distract the eye a little bit somehow there we go same with this one couple spirals, a couple more spirals here and there won't hurt anything, will they? I don't think so. Maybe stop while I'm ahead. And I still gotta black my edges. I still want to see what white would look like. Still a little white. Can, but I'm going to leave scars. I kind of like the white. Use my playing card palette and put some white down. Yeah, you know me. I'm going to use up to 20 minutes just playing. I've got the sharp end of the skewer. I could go tiny white. Let's see if it'll show up. It's that ermine effect, except for ermine is white with black, that's right. We're just having fun. I think it won't be that hard to cover the edges with black. Alright, that's my timer telling me. I've got two minutes left. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up. But more importantly, watch the whole video because that's the YouTube algorithm, what the YouTube algorithm reacts to. It's the only thing that helps improve my channel's chances other than the fact that I have memberships. And thank you so much for being a member if you are one. Because you're helping me buy art supplies, which is the only reason I can keep painting here. Is the help I get from my members and those of you who use the donation option on PayPal or join Patreon. Space Ghosts! <laughs> it's just weird. I want to do something here. I really do. Just that rounded end was bugging me. I don't know why. I could definitely do that everywhere. It's time to put my card in the bucket. Wash up for the night. That was fun. Thank you for joining my I have over 33, 33 playlists with 100 videos on them each. If you like what I share with you, please give me a thumbs up. Did I say that already? I could have. I will torch. I really needed to do the black and white thing with my little tool. If you like the uh, if you like the tutorial video for making the acetate tools, let me know. If you'd like to purchase some, let me know. I'll get back to you. If you have comments, you keep my morale boosted with your comments. Thank you so much. If you have questions, they're very welcome and encouraged. Um, <laughs> I just drew a blank. Thank you again for being here, and uh, questions are welcome. Yeah, I said that already. 
My email address is EASPB in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I'll see you guys in on. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I love you all. You inspire me always.